أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونشكره ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا وصيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه We thank Allah, we adore him Inshallah, we shall continue from where we stopped yesterday We have been explaining the guidance of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم on how he used to pray So we started from Takbirat al-Hihram and how he used to raise his hands and the next thing he would say after takbirat al we talked about dua al istiftah and we said the various versions of adiyat al istiftah that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say and uh, we said uh, umar radiyallahu an that he used to say the Dua ul istiftah. He used to say it aloud so that people would hear him and they would learn the dua ul istiftah from him. And um, we said uh, we can get the prayers from Hisnul Muslim if we want to memorize them, inshallah. Now, after the uh, dua ul istiftah, we said the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. أعوذ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Then after that, you would say بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We explain that the بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Sometimes the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم would say it aloud. Why most of the time he would say it silently. So that's the the Sunnah. He's saying it silently, but sometimes if one says it aloud, there's no problem with that. So, ثُمَّ يَقْرَأُ الْفَاتِحَةِ Then after that, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم After saying, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم He would then recite سورة الفاتحة So, وَكَانَ يَجْهَرُ ثُمَّ يَقْرَأُ الْفَاتِحَةِ وَكَانَ يَجْهَرُ بِبِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ تَارَةً وَيُخْفِيهَا أَكْثَرُ وَكَانَتْ كِرَاءَتُهُ مَدَّنِ so when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited Surah Al-Fatiha, Qiraatuhu Maddan, his recitation used to be like elongated. What does it? What does this mean? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin, like ayat and ayat, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. He would stop. Not Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Imali You know, it's possible to connect those verses But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would say, would read it Ayatan, Ayat Verse by verse So, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yaqifu inda kulli ayat He would stop at every end of a verse Wa yamuddu biha sawta and he would, uh, he would uh, pronounce it. It would be hard. It would be it. Uh, it would be hard when he said this on the salawats that we used to we pray, and you know recite aloud. فَإِذَا فَرَغَ مِنْ كِرَاءَةِ الْفَاتِحَةِ When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam finished reciting Surah al-Fatiha, قال he would say, "Amin." He would say, "Amin." So it means that the Imam and the Ma'mumun, they will all say Amin. So the Imam would say Amin. The, uh, follow, uh, the people following the Imam, so, uh, the Imam too, they will also say Amin. فَإِنْ كَانَ يَجْأَرُ بِالْكِرَاءَ رَفَعَ بِهَا صَوْتَ If the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was praying the salah that we, we pray aloud, we speak aloud, he would say the Amin aloud, that they would hear him. So, when he said, whenever he said it aloud, then uh, the people behind him, al ma'mumun, they would also say what he said, Amin. So this is uh, 
the reason why there is this particular popular hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that uh, the Prophet said, "Inna ju'ila al-imam liyutamma bih." The Imam was made an Imam so that you can follow him. Ida kabbara when he says Allahu Akbar, fakabiru. You also say Allahu Akbar. Fa ida raka'a, the hadith is, is, is long like this. Ida raka'a farka'u, wa ida sajada fasjudu. So, and um, ida qala amin. If he says amin to you, would also say amin. Amin. <laughs> so, so now many people uh, make mistake of you know for being forward like they would be they will be doing all these things before the imam it is not right like performing ruku before the imam performs his ruku performing sujood before the imam uh, performs the sujood or saying the statement i mean before the imam says uh, we should follow the imam when the imam says i mean we also say I mean, this is the teachings. Uh, these are the teachings of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, wa kana lahu saktatan. The Prophet sallallahu used to keep quiet, like used to have sakta, like a silent moment, twice. And sakta tun bayna takbirati wal kiraa. They said one of the silent moments it would have is be- between takbiratul ihram and reciting. Uh, Fatiha, like Allahu Akbar. You know, there, there are some things be, between them. What are those things that we explain? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar Rajim, Bismillahi Rahman Ar Rahim, and Dua Al Istifta, right? Bayna Bayna Al Takbirat Al Iram Wal Kiraa. So they said that is the first sakta. That is the first silent moment. So they said the second silent moment is that Waktu Li Fafithaniya. The, there is difference of opinion as regards to the second silent moment. Scholars do not have a, a consent, like a consensus. There is no consensus of uh, opinion of, from the scholars. So, some of them, some of them said it's after, after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. Some of them said it is after, um, it is before Rukur. So, you know, after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, before reciting the next uh, Surah or the next verse that you want to recite after Surah Al-Fatiha, some of them said that is the Saktatun Thaniya, that is the second silent moment of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like, for example, غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ You know, the Ma'mumun also say Ameen. So, between saying Ameen and reciting another verse or another Surah, some scholars said that is that time. That is the second saktatun. Why some said no, that it is kabla rukur. After reciting the second verse or surah, after fatiha, then before he performs rukur, that sakta, that silent moment between that, rukur, uh, be, be, between that standing and rukur, some of them said that is the second sakta. Uh, though there are some people that said it is three, that is not two. That's uh, the, the first one is not among. But Al-Muhim, Al-Muhim is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to have two silent moments while praying. And the one that is popularly known among scholars are the ones that we've just uh, mentioned. It's, inshallah, we're going to stop here. Uh, we shall continue from here in our subsequent class. So, uh, we are almost rounding up the, the part of Reciting Fatiha, reciting verses, inshallah, we'll also be talking about what kind of verses, what kind of surah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to recite after Fatiha in specific salawat. So we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant us the perfect understanding of the deen and make us the followers of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at al qiyamah. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik ashar Allah ila ila ant. أستكفرك وأعطو إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله اللهم رحمتك أرجو فلا تكلني إلى نفسي طرفة عين وأصلح لي شأني كله لا إله إلا أنت